Hi, everybody. I'm Hi. Cindy. And I'm the other guy. <laughs> We're Cindy and Gary. I'm a guy. Well, no. <laughs> no, no, no. You said you were the I'm other guy. I'm just a guy. village idiot. It's okay. <laughs> you said you were the other guy, so I'm just uh, running with that. I'm Gary. And I'm Cindy. And we're Pathways Homestead. Today we're going to show you some chicken tractors we've built. This one here is a John Deere because you can't buy parts for it. <laughs> um, or you can't afford them. Um, <laughs> yeah, I can't afford them. Well. This is both all the both these chicken tractors, all my chicken tractors. <laughs> I've just built out of scraps that we've had. No true size, no... I mean, they're all. I've got four of them now, and they're all four different sizes. Yeah. Um, but we have built these. Some these are built out of some pallet material and crating material, and uh, then we've put some tin and some plywood. And I did have to buy wire for chicken yes. tractors this time. I had enough to get two sides of this tractor, and then the other. And I had to buy some wire to finish this one and do the other one. And wouldn't you know it? God's good, and wire was on sale at Tractor Supply. Yep, so we we got some wire, and we finished these tractors, and these are, we use these to graze our um, Cornish crosses, mm -hmm. our meat chickens, and we graze them across the grass, and that helps them to, they get chlorophyll, and that helps them to develop well, and keeps and them eating. Keeps them mobile, too. Yep, keeps them mobile. It also, um, they're not laying in their, Manure Another. and the dirty bedding. They we we're moving them to clean grass every day, and that helps a lot with with a lot of things. It helps with blistering on their breasts because they lay down a lot, and and it helps with uh, parasites and other things too. So we uh, we've been working on this. Luke helped us when he was here, and we have got them. I've got two of them completed now, and so we are fixing to move them into place. And I guess try to move the other two into place and get them ready and set up for chickens to go in. I don't know. We're going to have to look at the weather and see if it's time to put them in there yet or not. But, but we're going to get them going. And maybe we should do a trial batch. Sad note, we did lose 30 chickens the other day in the cold snap. Um, we didn't have enough heat in there for them. And they piled up and smushed one another. So that happens. Especially when you have so many in in such a small place. Yeah, and it when that cold snap, we just weren't. We just weren't prepared. Prepared for it. Thought we were, but we weren't. Right. So. So even seasoned homesteaders make huge mistakes. Mm -hmm. But anyway, um. There's only one way not to make a mistake homesteading. That's to not do it. <laughs> not to do anything. <laughs> um, update: Gary's foot is doing great. It's still attached. Still attached. He still got it. Um, he's doing good. I think are you you're almost done with one antibiotic and still working on finishing the other one? Sure. Are you still taking them? I'm taking the one. Okay, okay. So you just take all, the one that was giving you trouble. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he's still taking antibiotic and finishing it off and yeah. So I guess we better get to moving tractors. I gotta give you the camera person and follow him along. So I don't have to do the work. I'm going to pull this. I've been told I was a donkey before, well, or something like that. And so I guess I'm going to pull this today. <laughs> Did you rip your bag? Somebody that needs a workout to come do this for. 
He said he needs somebody that needs a workout to come do it for him. Got any football players want to come do this for him? I, uh, I need a nap, not a workout. <laughs> or a donut. A donut? He needs a donut or a, and a nap instead of a workout. They're interchangeable. Interchangeable? Really? Donuts and naps. Donuts and naps. Okay. Take can't your workout. Can't get work a nap, take a donut. <laughs> if you can't eat a nap, take a donut. Can't, <laughs> can't eat a nap? Take a donut. <laughs> I probably need to move it forward off that ditch line a little bit so there's not a little gap underneath. Yeah, that's the thing with chicken tractors and uneven ground. You've really got to make sure you don't have gaps for predators to get in underneath them. I've built, I built one with a wire bottom to make it predator proof and it was really hard to move and they got hung up in it and stuff and it was just didn't work well so then I built some without bottoms in them and they seem to work better that way but you do have to watch where you're setting them. Okay. And I built these with just a, a door about half the pin and that way I can get in and do what I need to do but it provides plenty of shelter for them. And I put solid tops all the way across on mine, um, not just for rain but for shade. We, the Kansas sun gets with it here in the Flint Hills. It, we get some pretty serious sunshine, pretty lot of heat. And, and even in the, now that we're putting these in the fall, we may have several days that doesn't get above 60 degrees, and then we may have a 92 degree day. So we, I, I like to have solid tops for the shade. It provides more shade that way. Chicken tractor number two, new chicken tractor number two. This one's smaller, still out of a different pallet. Um, and we sized the tin off. I had some tin that was about this width and that's full width of a piece of tin. And so that's how we made the door. I see those yellow tomatoes. Gotta take a yellow tomato break. the worm? No. Nope. Haven't found them yet. We've got worm damage. Horn worm damage, but we can't find the horn worm. Oh, you know, see that zipper spider? She may have got him already. I doubt it. But Does she eat a horn worm? I don't know if she will or not. You guys spot him, holler him out.
Come over here. While he's tying that down, I'm going to show you his engineering. He took the wheels off of an old front tine tiller we had and put them on the back. Make it easier to drag it with the four-wheeler. Looks really well for moving it from one side of the property to the other. Mm -hmm. Yep. Cool. Cool beans. Hello. A whole lot better than trying to pick it up and put it in a pickup. Way better than trying to pick it up and put it in a pickup. Way better than trying to drag it by hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like I said, last time I just drug it with the four-wheeler, I knocked the back off of it. Hit a little hump, and it'll just, it's like hitting it with a hammer. Yep, just pulled it right off of it. go. If we need any major moving, we can just put those wheels back on it. Short distances will be fine. Just to pull it. Yeah, we just drag it across the ground and move the chickens around.
Mark will be tickled to see that. What, that I did that? Right, so we have two of the chicken tractors here. We have two of the chicken tractors over there. And we'll just drag them along. They won't be right behind one another like they are right now. They'll probably be staggered one beside and one. That, but, 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 but that, that's all, folks. <laughs> Thank you all for joining us today as we got the chicken tractors moved out here. We still will have to build at least one more, maybe two more to complete our six. Um, we've lost almost a tractor's worth of chickens. So we won't have to have eight. We will need at least six, probably seven tractors. So that leaves us three more to build possibly. But while the chickens are young, we can start them out in four and then build, as they get bigger to keep dividing them out and building the tractors as we have time and resources. Yep, we've got to find more material. We have to find more material. We're going to have to start dumpster diving. Oh, dumpster diving. Me? I got a full-time job. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, I hope you all uh, enjoyed this. And uh, I want you to know that you are blessed. And we'll see you later.